Daisy, I'm back, and I'm good. <sighs> See, it doesn't last long. It's all in phases. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. Bad vibes. You know. <clears throat> I I realize that like attracts like in many facets. So you just got to find the silver lining in the relatability. So like, <clears throat> dude, welcome back to the best of the best light and love crew. <laughs> um, <clears throat> practitioners of love and light. <clears throat> the kind that reciprocate evenly. Mm hmm. Not just the know-how, but the follow-through was wonderful. So, um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Um, yeah, that like attracts like. So, uh, with as much persistence uh, as I've encountered with uh, the bullshit energies, um, I <laughs> I'm just going to work harder, you know? That's that's what I gotta do. I realize I forget that it's not just about the trickle effect. I was revisiting my videos, you know, channeling the music, whatever, you know, just kind of solidifying the new, the the lessons um, on the recipient end. I'm a primary. I'm a best fan. You know, you know. So um, <clears throat> I'm learning like sportsmanship on a solo kind of level or higher level, like just kind of in a different way than, than most are most experience. So anyway, um, I, I learned I, I, in, okay. In recapping, let's finish those thoughts, Tina. And, uh, recapping, um, I heard myself say trickle effect, but I actually meant ripple effect and both are just fucking simultaneous. So we're not just moving on um, within the depths, um, but also lateral movement. You know, this is simultaneous within its motioning. Yeah. So that reminded me of when I first, when we first mentioned it, when I first got the download that, um, you know, as I am going through these like milestones, these, um, personal like bests, that means simultaneously energetically bound, um, we're like affecting each other. So I affect my, um, I, and I facilitate my, um, my personal inner circle crews with that same vibe. You know how awesome that is? I, I tend to forget that, that when I'm feeling down and I really let it get to me, guess what? My kin from, you know, <laughs> another frame, um, uh, is, you know, is, is, um, influenced by that too. So I got to do better, not just for myself, but for my, you know, my, my fam. So, um, that cheered me up because I was taking a shower and I realized I didn't take a shower yesterday. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tina, herself of Tina, whatever. We go through phases, right? And, um, <clears throat> so it was like, you know, the cleansing, I, I realized it was just like a ping moment. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I feel better. <laughs> um, I decided I was going to methodically just kind of <clears throat> regroup myself before getting back on here. And it didn't take very much. You just prioritize and you feel good about it. <laughs> it's really freaking good. You know? And and it's like that that little that step ladder thing. <laughs> Wonderful. And you never know how tall those ladders really are. You know, when you when this is like a new test <laughs> of achievement. Um the ladder climbing of the divine is <laughs> is, is good. It's good. Um, <clears throat> so I kind of like the idea that, you know, I can do it in myself because I'm not the kind of girl where I'm like carrying something like, you know, <laughs> like freaking bag lady. Like I have all of these, all of these things or, 
Um, even like when I was in, an assistant and I would have to, you know, carry, you know, out like loads of like cases of water or whatever. If I had to carry it from one wing to another without a cart, I, I would do it. I could do it. I'm not going to ask somebody for help. Um, but then, you know, I, I realized in just about any industry, males like to come and help. They, they they really like to help um find you know that <laughs> where they can help the little lady <laughs> and i you know for a long time i was just like no i got it i got it it's it's cool it's fine and then i realized after talking with other females that that they it's almost like advantageous for you to to allow them to and I never, like, for a while, I was really not into that, especially when um, even some a lady from HR um, told me that, like, you know, giving me advice, you know, sometimes guys, you know, just want to know that they can help. So sometimes, like, if, um, like, opening a can of this or that, and I'm thinking, like, that's lame, <laughs> You know, that you actually have to pretend, like, dumb yourself down in order to um, allow someone to, you know, feel good about themselves because you're just kind of, like, enabling their insecurities. And, um, like, I don't like it when people pretend to, you know, like, lose a game in order for me to feel good about winning or something. You know, like, I don't, I don't feel right about that. I mean, it's different if you're, like, playing with another, uh, like, with a child and um, you want to teach them. You kind of loosen up. You're not going to go aggro. Um, But, yeah, I just, I don't know. I, why did I even, (laughs) why did I even get there? Holy smokes. Oh, about independence. You know? I I like knowing that I can, there are certain things that I can do with the car, certain things that I intuitively know that um, my ex did to the car <laughs> or certain things like I, there are certain things that, you know, that, that are not um, quite teachable with certifications, you know, um, the, you just know. So anyway, um, you just gotta pay attention. You just gotta care. <laughs> that's all. That's that's all. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, and I I like the fact that I don't need to depend on the you know <laughs> the little fairy tale thing of where like Prince Charming or whatever. Like I don't, t- dude. I've been let on so many times. It's insane. Even just at like the starter up friendship thing. So now that I'm super duper protective, you know, people are seeing what kind of bullshit they they bring to the world by the comeback. Yes, yes, yes. I love my team. They're so freaking awesome. So um, things are coming through just, you know, fine, fine, fine. And um, put some, um, and chap my lips. Anyway, um, I'm going to ask really quickly if, um, I should let go of a, a certain person in my life. Come on, where, where are you? Is that it? Mm, no. We're going to use a regular Fey tarot, okay? Uh, is this it? The Fairy Lights tarot. Because it's so positive. So, I want to go with that vibe. Okay? When having to, like, cut um, some contacts out, um, I, I, just, I just want some reaffirming here. Because it seems to be that I capture the name in my divination every t- single time that I'm feeling shitty. Now I gotta tell you, okay? Let's let's go ahead and work on presentation here. I am going to try my very best to not um, 
I'm, I'm going to meet halfway with what I saw in my email um, about having to um, watch your social media and, and make sure that you're coming off on the right foot. So let's just like clean up around here a little bit, okay? I don't need a cuss, no. I'll save that for like, you know, Patreon. I'll save it for the exclusive kids that that want to have the realness. Absolute realness, no cap. Um, but here, let's just appeal to many more. Many more that are willing to, that are open and willing to learn. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do it right, okay? <laughs> so, that was the last of the cuss words that you shall see. If I am definitely <laughs> called to cuss, I, will, I shall put the, the trigger warning, okay? Let's distinguish this. From here on out, it is March 28th, 2023. This is a timeless energy reading, but from here forward, I affirm... I'm setting standards and following through for the greatest good. I, I'm focused on the reach, yeah, because I, I know. <laughs> I know what I can do with the divine. I've seen the work. I've seen it happen. So um, in letting go of this contact, um, I was given the, like, kind of the notion the last time I um, noticed their name come out. And... And then I was called to double check with my pendulum, and it was like absolute. But I just want to—I just want to make sure, okay? Not just the black and white, yes or no. I, I wanna let's make sure, okay? So, angels of love and light, I welcome you in to direct and protect these messages. Oh goodness gracious, my chakras, my auras, my space, my work, my abundance, and that. Of this best of the best light and love crew practitioners of absolute faith mm -hmm. I love it you know Jesus energy is for real let me tell you this okay so you saw how I was the last two readings holy friggin moly <sighs> that's the realness let me tell you so receptivity you know how people pride themselves in their radar? You know, I do. Come <laughs> on. I'm not making fun of anybody. But that's that's like that's the empath. So that on steroids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like being an empath. It gives me like the secrets of <laughs> what goes on unspoken. Mm -hmm. But um yeah, since that reading, I've been having Constant psychic attacks. Constant psychic attacks. Constant. Constant. And I've been working with it, you know. Just like, hmm, what am I going to make of this energy? I'm getting better and better at it. Because it used, when you're a newbie, it really puts you out. You know, like, <laughs> but, I, I, you know, figuring out what, like practicing. It gives me practice work. So, um, uh, I, I just wanted to lay down and rest cause I, it wasn't that that was causing me, you know, real, um, concern. It was more that like not having the funds to figure out, you know, at least when you have a little bit of funds, you can kind of negotiate things here and there, but when you don't have any, it's like, what, what are the options? Uh, do I go back? I mean, I've applied to even, I've applied to um, stuff that was less than, like, like half the wages, less than that. And I've applied to, like, part-time jobs, contract jobs. You saw, one-day assignment. Like, so, um, and I'm, like, in my 40s. Like, come on, are you? <laughs> that's going on and I have a solid work history this whole like uh what do you call it um spirituality stuff religious stuff so it's so diff. it's goodness gracious people have to relearn me <laughs> you know so 
People want to relearn me. So that's good, you know. But but more so, like, I'm so glad I'm getting to learn about myself. Freaking awesome. So, Jesus energy. I was like, when I was down, it's 10 o'clock. It just turned 10 o'clock. I, I decided I'd just put the covers over my head. Just like, Spirit, can you just hold me for a little bit? Can you just, please, please. Jesus, can you, can you, can you just like, can we just have like a little huddle here? Dude, for reals, I was protected. And I, and I had a conversation or several things that I needed to knock down today. Very important. Couldn't wait another day. And I asked Jesus to help me out. Like, please, Jesus, just, just come on. Just, just please. I, I I shall surrender. Just I'm gonna try this thing out. I I'd never really ask you, Jesus, for like I don't I don't really ask you. Can you please? Holy mackerel! Mm-hmm. Miracles. <laughs> Seriously, it's freaking like awesome. <laughs> I don't even know. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep using that for sure. <laughs> you need an extra prayer, Jesus? You you need me to pray every day? Okay. <laughs> we'll do that. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, that that's really cuz when you open yourself up to spirituality, you're you're opening your yourself to, you know, many possible doors. To relearning the experience of you know history as um as you're guided through and the making of it, so like you know I was open to the fact that okay, maybe um Jesus has you know had a you know a a different identity in all actuality outside of what is written, maybe there is something more to it, or maybe it was over amplified or you know something maybe there there's just got to be something more than what was recorded by um man's manipulation, you know the human's manipulation and and so you got to realize that if if this is current day. And I'm seeing the BS around here. Um, no matter how good I am, did same thing back in the day. You gotta realize that corruption has its roots. <laughs> like news travels fast, and so does you know the easy way out, <laughs> temporarily anyway. But I, I was just talking to Jesus, and I was like, even before you know this, just kind of building on the relationship. It's like, dude. Jesus is magic. You know how? I know. Because the stories of how people like trying to touch his, you know, robe or whatever to gain healing, to, to, to get better, to, you know, and it's like, Jesus, how did, how, how did you do that? To keep people out of your auric fields that are just greedy, needy, and, you know, could give an S less about who you are and, and, can will only think about what you can do for them. How did, how did you navigate through that? Jesus, how how did you manage to not just like command respect, but how did you um like keep your auric fields clear <laughs> in crowds? Once once you resurrected, what what was it like <laughs> like or even before that, hmm? Hmm? how did you do that? Teach me. I I need to know. Instead of just asking for help, I I would love to learn. So teach me, hmm? so that I can teach others. Because hmm? you know you got these people on your tail, hmm? tailgating. Like clenching onto the coattails, you know. Meh. So, anyway, that's why I think I was called to ask <laughs> um, if I should let this particular person go. And I think it's kind of obvious, but let's get some affirmation here. 
Yeah. What do you want to say? Jesus. Angels of the night. Spirit. Okay. So, oh, goodness. We have the king of cups in reverse. There's, that's Jesus right there. Spirit, Jesus. Right there. Watching out. Okay. So, this is a chariot. Seven. It's parked. Okay. Oh, okay. Ten of wands in reverse, releasing the burdens, the heavy, heavy burdens of having to care for ones that are not even our own. Okay. Knight of swords in reverse. So now time to focus. Okay. So let go of those burdens. Okay. Kind of just like surrender. Okay. So then we're moving into the knight of um, swords in reverse. So just focus, not moving in haste. Haste is waste. Okay. Um, Ace of Cups in reverse, the Gatorade Cup. <laughs> All up on my business, okay? Okay, Queen of Wands in reverse. Wait, is this Swords or Wands? Oh, no, it's, it's Wands. Okay. Queen of Wands in reverse, and then the Ace of Wands in reverse. Oh, That's funny. Spirit saying, pick myself and my wand back up. Because there are people that really want to kick you when you're down, Tina. There are other witches out there that um, are working to siphon your energy. Methodically. Mm-hmm. Top of the deck is, oh my gosh, yeah, three of wands right here. Like, the ships are coming in, but do you see this? It looks like, you know, like, people following, you know? Wanting to, like, like, the ship that's coming in is that orb of light. People are trying to, like, like, is it my turn? Is it my turn? Do I get to see? Can I, can I see? Can I see what's, you know, coming through for somebody else? See? That's what's happening. Let them go. Don't be afraid. Like, if you have, um, <laughs> like, that's, you know what I realized in, in um, letting go of, you know, blocking out certain energies in, in, um, on, on YouTube, on my feed, like, as soon as I, like, people can be accurate when it comes to um, their messaging, but um, are they ethical? You know, you got you. You have to look at that part. It's it's kind of just like why would you, you know, work so hard and then and then just skip, like just be purposefully ignorant over, you know, a certain area, um, just just because you're getting the details that you normally wouldn't channel in, you know. So, like, don't give them so much credit. You can channel in that energy, Tina. Like, just ask the questions. That's it. I mean, I'm, I'm given, I'm receiving them the way I should receive them, you know? Because it's like, people channel in, like, um, certain details because they're, they're purposeful. Like, their energetics tap into, um, you know, a certain realm of bullshit, you know? And so you got to keep that in mind, you know, when, when that's in their network and in their circles, um, to the very detail of, am I doing this right? Okay. Um, you, like, you just don't ignore that stuff. Like, you don't, you don't need to compromise in order to get more data. I mean, that's what happens with water cooler talk. Um, People compromise their ethics or integrity in order to get data about, you know, to, to get these perceived leverage. So don't, don't be one of those, Tina, okay? Don't be one of them. Um, and, you know, when it comes to, like, the petty details of stuff, like, that becomes so irrelevant. There's so many bigger things to, like, focus on. So um, that's what Spirit is saying. Mm -hmm. 
let them go, let them loose. So once I let that go, um, um, there were, I think, um, a couple, I, I keep checking back on them, you know, but I won't watch your stuff. So I keep checking back, like just to verify, just to verify. And I notice with the pause and like the, I just know, I just know that they're, they, they, they got, they're sold out. They sold out. And these are like varying personalities and, and different ways in which they read. It's like, don't, don't be a fool, Tina. Like, like the kind of fool that you're just not paying attention, like writing off certain like red flags. Don't do that. You don't let, you know, guys do that to you. Don't it's like no double standards, Tina. It's not worth it. You can see you would be so much more successful right now if you if you let go of them like if you were if you let them go sooner. But no, they siphon some of your stuff. So like no, no more. Hmm. Top of the deck. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Miss Independent. That's what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Just like, go through and mind your own business. You can get the answers that you need, Tina. Don't, no, no. Not worth it. With spirit by my side, with having Jesus energy, by gosh, like, what, what more do I need? <laughs> you know? Like, this, the, um, the visitor that I had the other day about like com complaints reflecting like the inner turmoil, like, I, um, like from the externals, I, I, I could understand that now. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I was just cozying up after like I took a shower or whatever, and I felt good. Like, um, I was thinking like, mm, this is good to like lay down and just and, like. Because I remember having to clean up and laying on the floor. And even though it was on several blankets to like act as cushions because I didn't have the mattress or even the bed, um, I, I know the difference. <laughs> and it, it's just nice having that and like being able to like cozy in without having to have the heater on and raising up the electricity or the gas bill. And, um, you know, that's really nice to have. <laughs> Like, that I don't have, like, that I'm lucky to have that. That, um, you know, just, like, a bunch of other stuff. Like, I don't feel like th any feels to go shopping for, like, clothes or shoes or whatever. Because I already, I already went through those phases. I have stuff, like, since I was, like, 10, 11, 12 years old that I can still fit. And not, not a whole bunch of things. But you, collectively speaking, I already have, like... A collection of things that like I can rely on. I don't need to buy any more clothes or um, shoes or mm, you know like I don't or even like craft supplies. I don't like I I have a good inventory of stuff that I can work with already that range from like <laughs> garage sales to whatever. Like even hand me downs. Like I'm I'm cool with it. Okay. Um, but, um, oh, what happened here? Hold on a sec. Okay, I remember now. Okay. Um, but like, <laughs> and, and when it comes to friends, I have real ones beyond the veil. They help me channel in the music. They help me do, like, my divinations, like... This is teamwork. This is a collaborative effort. That's why, like, I really, I have to re really see what, you know, figure out what I'm going to do with all of this stuff here. Because <laughs> I, I really got to focus on that stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, cut the deck. Eight of Wands. Yeah, communications. Okay. Yeah, this, this these are this is like my star families. This is these are my absolute like kin 
energies. Is it? Yeah. Let me see here. What else do you want to say about it? Yeah. Like, to get... Dude, it's like almost effortless. I, And it's like I get the most messages when I'm not stressing out. Like, like when I'm just... When I take time to go out for a walk, when I, when I'm doing some housekeeping, when I'm when I follow through with my intuitive guidance to you know, keep the balance, dude. No matter what's going on, following those, I don't know. It's just like the the music comes in. Like I don't know. It's it's the craziest thing ever. That's like so cool. It's so cool. There's a lot to learn about what I can do. <laughs> so I'm really excited. I'm really excited. What is it cutting through to here? Knight of Wands. Yeah, excitement. Mm -hmm. I'm like adventurous. Mm. Yeah. Confident about where we're going. Even if like it's a new adventure. So I love it. This is good. Now, oh, bottom of the deck now is Seven of Swords. Mm. Oh, you know what? With the Eight of Eight of um, Wands, you saw that, right? Um, let me let me find it again. But Eight of Wands, it was like piercing through, um, like communications. But it was hitting this boat thing, and I was like, I don't. I I remember saying something about it in a previous reading where it was yeah where like the getaway plan is not going to happen you see it's like communications you see it like coming through um but like that boat like it got pierced right there mm -hmm. seven of swords so the communications that i receive that i'm getting through is like um putting a stop um to those that are deceiving and um this is a depiction of not just the microcosm but the macrocosm. I know this for a fact because as I thought as I was receiving the download, um I started getting like the chills, like just that's crazy. Mm-hmm. This is good. I like it. So um what deck were we using here? Um the dream inspiration. Okay. So yeah. It's it's obvious I have to um, let go of, um, I have to cut somebody loose. Not just cut them loose, I gotta block them. Yeah, I, I received several instances, but I just did not, um, I can't, I mean, I didn't, oh shit, that's crazy. No way. <laughs> I guess there are a lot of, I have a lot of secret admirers that are all up in their head strategizing. That's interesting. Like some of them know each other. It's weird. That's, that's what it showed me. But <laughs> anyway. Okay. So, um, we have, um, we took a little break. There was a little bit of a dip, but that's okay. Um, what do we want to say? What What is the new focus spirit? You know, like, I know there are some very, very important things to take care of. Um, and I am one of them. <laughs> um, but, like, I feel tons better. <laughs> Insanely better. <laughs> so, um, you know, um... What else do you want to say, Spirit? I mean, I didn't think this was going to be the topic of discussion, but <laughs> okay. Oh, that there's middle ground within the transitions as far as, mm, you know, like, I don't need to publicize everything. Like, what I relate to you is how I'm supposed to relate to you. But I'm not supposed to give you every single detail of what's happening on my end, even if there's... um switcheroos and you know change ups in the plan little tweaks like <laughs> i have to remember 
like not to utter like a single word more. Um, I'm going to meet middle ground and um, use some of that advice on um, not divulging everything. Like, well, I, I just want to see what happens. I just, I can, I can speak like, you know, I can, I can pull from the archive of events when it comes to topics, but let's just keep it light and easy and see what, let's see what happens. Let's see, let's, let's go ahead and add a little bit more mystery. Because nobody's supposed to be following me like tooth and nail like that. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> no. They have no right. I'm not going to enable it. Um, they, they don't even like my stuff. They watch it. They take it. They, you know, you know, it's like, if you can't even like or subscribe, dude, like, I'm not, no, no. Just because you're a practitioner? No. That's just, that's, that's not enough validation. Your credentials don't mean much here. See, you like, you like my new vibe here? <laughs> Keeping it clean. <laughs> oh, it's coming out of the dark night of the soul. It's realizing that there's abundance, um, lit or not. You see, in the dark or not. So having abundance, even with the lights out, like if you can't pay the, the light bill or whatever, and they get shut out, or um you have to ration out you know the energy or you know certain certain things it's like abundance is abundance you know <laughs> no yeah it's coming out of the dark night of the soul um fulfilled you know satiated i have what i truly need in order to survive do you know We'll figure something out. Okay, don't don't freak out. No mass hysteria. Whatever I talked about on the macrocosm, all that stuff happening, you gotta apply that um, also within. You just gotta like focus on what you can do. Okay. <laughs> all right. And I'm saying spirit. Jesus, what you, let's let's you let, Jesus, what do you want to say? What do you what do you want to say, Jesus? Okay. <laughs> You're fast. <laughs> mm, um Okay, what do you, okay, I'm not sure if I'm seeing this correct. Oh, uh, hmm, okay, let me see here. So this like ship has truly come in. Um to like the balcony area, you see? It's like um, a galactic, sh galactic ship that has come in. And there's some kind of like delivery of the great spirit of source gifts to um, gifts to certain people. You see? It's like fueling in gifts. All oh, resources are coming in. Our, our sponsors from beyond the veil are... Mm, facilitating us through additional means something is coming through it's not just something it's like people are so happy everybody gets one here i don't know who this subset of everybody is but even communities are do you see that jesus okay so i understand that this is what you offer Jesus. Okay. I understand that's what you offer, but is that something that's, um, I think, okay. So can you just like specify here spirit? Um, Jesus. Okay. So let me just go ahead and grab something in between from the other deck. What is it? Nine of pentacles again. What? Where did that come from? Independence. So the, this is the, um, remember the character of like letting go and all of that. Um, not being afraid to like let go of um just context you know that like you don't have to dive into every single detail but you receive several messages and you we're letting the that ish go so this is you know that act of independence um 
this is what spirit is giving us oh i love it that's so crazy that's so good that's so so good okay so as a reward for making those executive decisions like sometimes i i feel like okay maybe i'm just jumping to conclusions maybe i'm just imagining things maybe it's like um foul spirits trying to jumble up the messaging and have us turn against each other but no, like when I receive um pain, whenever like you ha you got to notice the patterns. So once you come into that awareness, um, then in in following through and letting that go, and you know still being happy, not um glum or even numb about it, this Jesus Jesus comes in with rewards. Absolutely, absolutely. Like instantaneous, two cards back to back isn't the, just a the ship has come in with um what you order, but like and then some. You see, it's like Christmas, you know. Jiminy Cricket, <laughs> yeah. That's oh wow, that's interesting. Okay, Jesus, is there anything else? Okay, it opened up to this thing that I haven't seen before going on here oh it's like the f tower no it's like the full card like kind of jumping off like a diving board <clears throat> am i understanding that correctly yeah kind of like inception but like jumping up like a backflip mm -hmm. it's a full card yeah so it's just like the trust fall it's like it's not just trust it's like ultimate confidence like i'm gonna do my best trick off this jumping board jumping board okay just watch me just just doing your best not just like reluctantly jumping off the diving board a hundred percent so <laughs> that's hilarious okay so we have someone kind of like master over here um suspended and then someone putting on shoes that makes them fly if the shoe fits, then wear it. Okay, so we're getting fitted for for flight, for takeoff. Um, oh, you know, some of you might be very into, like, shoes. You know, wings, you, you see? Helps you fly. Mm -hmm. So, um, we are, yeah, I, I got chills on that, so that's for sure. Um, yeah, I'm getting, like, that Macklemore song. Um, wings? I, I forget. Yeah, uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. Um <clears throat> uh so it's it's having that, being fitted. So we went from early oh, I'm getting the the um psychic attacks again. Um uh you know they're gonna keep doing this and they're going to realize that it's going to render them impotent. Because you know who the new recipient is of the glory of their gifts? <laughs> Cha-ching. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the same thing as tooting the horn, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blowing the whistle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, there's strategy in, in this development, in, in getting us fitted. Um... The, the the nine of um, pentacles um archetype depicted here you know the the energy there of that archetype within that mm -hmm, the series so this is excellent because it's not just me there's at least a couple other people here that are you know that are doing the same so um since this morning about um getting the robe um to um for initiation and all of that, um, special rites, um, practices, um, we're also getting the shoes, mm -hmm. the slippers. So um, we started off kind of like nude in all of that, where we um, kind of lose that identity, kind of that ego death, you see, um, it's like, you know, covered. Um, hmm. I like it. Okay. So it's like trying to blow this like big balloon, but like our whole face is encased into it. So, um, hmm. 
I think there's um, an indication of having to work on, do our breath work. Mm -hmm. Because there's something very meditative about this in focus. That we have to bring ourselves back to our body, our awareness of our presence. It's 100% over here. Because this person is, um, you know, there's zero gravity here. So it's like floating. Okay. And um, same thing um, indicated here as far as flight. Um, it's being ascended. Um, yeah. So, hmm. so having the weight lifted off of you. So there's certain weightlessness here in, in how we move around. So there's something about astral work here. This is, um, it's like, it's a different facet of astral projection. Because I, I can't say that it's remote viewing. I can't say it's like outer body experience. This is, this is, this is something that's very much, it's very different. It's astral projection. That's what that is here. Um, a, a, a different facet of it. It's within the umbrella. I, I don't know what else. It, let me know if there's anything else that I need to say, Jesus. But there's something else here. Okay. These other two. Okay. So we have no ifs, ands, or buts on this. So, you know, the harp thing again. As far as finding harmony. Um, that we're part of this larger organization. This, like, school. It's almost like Hogwarts here. Um, but a large organization of learning. But it's very exclusive. Um, is there anything else you want to tell me here? There's no ifs, ands, or buts about this so it's we're going to be able to piece things together and just they're super super highly abundant like um super this is a school for super 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 intuitive individuals okay that also have a knack for music i don't understand all of that but that's okay because like the flowers are strewn in her hair and this is like our antenna right um, spiritual antenna when it comes to energetics. That's why you should be very careful about who touches your hair. You know how like um, um, African Americans or not even American, like just Africans. What you, um, um, they have a thing about people touching their hair for the most part. And I know that it goes, it has its historic roots on that um as far as like oh you know people t treating you like you're some like a pet like a you know something that they can you know cross boundaries with and you normally wouldn't do that with anybody else but the fact is is that like i don't know like there's some like thing you know and um uh and so, but there's something more to it, um, as far as historically speaking, like deep, deep, deep roots in energetics. Like when you have that inner knowing that inner, um, like flicker of, um, aversion, there's, there's something more to it there. So, um, something very deeply spiritual about them that they already know, um, that, you sh you can't just let anybody touch your hair. Okay. So I I personally know this because um of um the people that I've met within the spiritual community and um a couple of them touching my hair. Like sneakily, you know. That's why I put my hair up when I'm out or whatever in certain venues. But yeah. Mhm. Mm so, anyway, antenna and um strewn about with flowers not just flowers it's like pentacle bloom and energy but it's violet too it's purple it's you know that's like <laughs> third eye crown chakra energy hmm? okay so had to say that hmm? um 
here there's um, a male and female talking at the gates. Oh, we're being let in. This new journey is excellent. To, the doors are opening. Do you see that? Do, do you see that? This is the inside and that's the, it's the golden gates. They're gilded. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's so cool. This is ancient, like Atlantis energy. Do you see the um, profile of the face? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she's, and Jesus is telling me that I'm, I get to go, I'm going to be let in. I'm being let in. Mm-hmm. That's crazy cool. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this is like a very big commitment because we have like, you know, the nude body here and like the loss of um, like ego, ego death, you know, that loss right there. And then like, this is like a casual type of wedding dress here. So there's, you know, like in First Communion, you also have the um, the white dress also very much significant when it comes to the purity involved in the initiation within this formality. So that's insane. That's so cool. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um, I don't know 100% what that means. Um, but spirit, um, angels of uh, love and light, um, Jesus, you tell me when to like hush up when I've heard you like seriously. <laughs> Um, bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is a community, like a huge range of individuals that are very much like unique. Okay, it opened up to this, which is, oh, it's a zoo again. Oh, it opened up again to this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's just finish off. On the inside, many different kinds of individuals here. And it, it's so beautiful, like it's so welcoming. It's so wonderful. Yeah. It's so good. But then we have like performance art and it's like, you know, the zoo that we have to, you know, it's a farm. <laughs> um, but um, it's, you know, stepping out into a world that's very much like that. On the inside, we do have like playtime kind of like this. It's, but it's more like playtime where it's a play that you kind of spoof on the world on how it is. Like, it's kind of just comedy. Mm -hmm. It's performance art. Mm -hmm. So, um... But here, stepping out, you know, once we step out, I, I'm getting that this is not just like a one-time energy, the, the school of being like let in. I think it's, um, I don't know how, I get the impression that it's like a periodic thing that, like a headquarters almost, like a school headquarters where we periodically go in and out for higher learning to be like touched on, you know, updates. Mm -hmm. And then um, we are let go with a very, very strong familiar um, and we help teach the world. But she's got like work boots on, you know, like newsboy boots. So there's something very like she's very like it's not just confident it's focused um like not just it's like heavily equipped um inside and out just okay just just I don't know, what's behind that i don't know Yeah, because there's like Joker energy here, illusionist, you see, and like people like PI energy, like undercover energy and um, that cannot be like, uh, that is trying to keep 
not identified. I'm getting men in black here because the face looks like very much men in black. But um, there's, um, it's like um, investigative energy. You can even see people talking in the shadows, profiles. But then there's that elusive energy um, of another kind. It's It's very different, like an illusionist. I don't know what else to say about that, but it's of a different kind. So it's, it's just knowing that like what kind of sentience is out there and how they depict themselves. Um, like the school isn't just like for fun, but they make it fun to learn to make it easier on the inside. Okay. Let me see what's behind that. Yeah. You see like, we're being guided to step out there and there's something about wolf energy on the inside some some people are being kicked out because um they've infiltrated like they've deceived in a certain way so it's like get that wolf energy out of here Yeah, there's something about that there. But then there's also, like, there's something else that I'm not supposed to say, but okay. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck after that is, um, yeah, it's time. Like, to enter on the platform, nine and a half, whatever, what, Harry Potty, 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 Harry Harry Potter. Um, yeah, that's what it's saying. Hmm, interesting. Okay, all right. So I don't know what else to say about that. Um, but uh, you know, we got a better idea of what's like going on here. <laughs> I do anyway. So let's. Oh my neck! Goodness gracious! It's, it's nice to be able to connect with um Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'd like to finally be empowered. N is right there. <gasps> Excuse me. O G D A C L A I X A G O I E Did I say I don't Oh yeah A E R I E I Okay We have Claire Dale Uh oh I got to refix this energy That's okay Still love you Gail Grail, mm. Odin, Lane, like Laney, mm. Elaine, Eileen, Gina, Galena. Oh, I think Galena is a stone, like a mineral, Galena. Yeah, it is. Galena, do I have it here? I don't think I have it, like, right, right here. It's somewhere else. Where did I put my Galena? Hmm. That's okay. Galena, though, it's important. Um... Igor, Egan, somebody's last name, I remember, I don't remember, um, Nolan, wait, Noel, Cole, Coley, and Nicole, 
skin. <clears throat> Sierra, but with a C and only one R. Kara. Rico. This is the first time I think I've gotten Rico. Interesting. Aiden. Mm -hmm. I think maybe that's the first or second time that I've had Aiden in here. Eli, Elon, I think Elon Musk, that's the first time I've had Elon here, mm. Ogre, mm. we have Gore again, Al Gore, wait, what, I don't, hold on, give me a second. Dude, why do I keep getting Al Gore here? What's going on here? I don't I don't understand. Why would I get why would I get that? I also have Reagan, like Ronald Reagan. So I have Ron Reagan for sure. Okay. Lexi. Rex, Excel, like the, you know, Microsoft Excel, interesting, but it, you know, it's obviously also excelling in something, <laughs> I'd have to say. So, um, there's different formulas and like lots of formatting that you can do with Excel. It's used for reporting, of course. Um, dude, why, why do I have Al Gore here? What the frick? That's, it's insane to me. Don, um, Donna, but with only one N. Um, what is it? Galena, right? Okay. Let me see. Um Cody, but with an IE. Nico, but with a it's N I C O. Um, Cage, so it could be like Nick Cage also. Hmm. Dude, I have a lot of viewers here. <laughs> this is a timeless energy reading, so like I don't just pull in whatever. Like this is. Hmm. Insane. I used to think that it was just like I was channeling in messaging about these people, but like I I don't even do pop cult. I don't even do pop culture like news. I don't I don't do I don't know. So, but then I'm realizing that you know the power behind what I do, and it's actually also channeling certain visitors. So I think it's both of them comprehensive because I'm not going to like, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say anything more about that. Um, so Conga, Congo, Congo, something's happening in the Congo. Okay. Um, something about the Congo. Okay. Um,
Okay. Uh, we also have... Mm, let me see. Ring. Something about connected to Al Gore, like a ring. I don't. Oh, it could be a a ring, like a group. Because first I was thinking ring, like um, the doorbell ring. Um, it could do with like commitment. It could also do with like a ring, like uh, the lingo for a grouping. There's something not right about that because we talked about the doorbell ring and the invasion of privacy, the legitimacy of allowing people upon suspicion of, of, you know, uh, what their perception is, is abusing freedom of speech. But it's like, <laughs> it's like you have to follow along with our storyline. It's like, because people are awakening, there's, um, there's, um, there's less obedience. And so now people d realize that they're kind of cornered into a certain choice, you know, like it's manipulation. Like people feel empowered because they think they're making a choice, but it's like cornering people in within, within this psychology of feeling empowered, but in all actuality, it's like a taming form of like obedience. And once people wake up to the fact that they don't have to choose this or that, and they're um, following their own ways, now it's enforcing um, something um, very, um, like, they're putting, applying pressure um, with the invasion of privacy in certain realms. And it's like, they layer on all of these tactics in order for us to, like, kind of buckle down. Hmm to your knees and it's um it's a ring and then um the commitment of you know keeping to their agenda and within this like exclusive grouping so that's what i'm here and for us it's like the alarm like ring 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 pick up and we just talked about that so um i see doing also here um Yeah. Excuse me. This is so strange to me. Oh, there's Aida. Um, A I D A. Hmm. Okay. But there's also aid. You know, aid and abet. What the? What? What does that? What is that? mean huh? um aiding and abetting what's what's that i know aid is to like assist to help okay but um oh my gosh there's something there's something frozen huh? i'm not purposefully like i'm just reading the freaking cards but spirit spirit and jesus wants me to take the wheel here <laughs> okay if you say so. <laughs> okay, that's that's just kind of like hmm. Huh. Die. So it's a single dice, you know. A do, a do, a do to you and you and you, yeah. That's right. Um, so long, farewell. I'd hate to say goodbye. Yeah, a do, a do to you and you and you. Yeah. That's interesting. Oh my gosh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Give me a second here, okay, because there's something crazy here, okay. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I, I'm supposed to keep this kind of separate. Okay, so something is being written right now. Right this very moment, something is being written. It's not just in in um, this world of like, something's being signed. Something's being written up. I don't know what right now, but I know something is being written. Um, which also means in the higher realms, in... in um, um, beyond the veils, there is something being scribed simultaneous. It's like a, a, an amendment to terms and conditions when it comes to karma. It's like something that is undoable. That there's something that's a very, it's firm. It's firm. It's written like something. There's a sense of permanency there. It's written judgment. There's something. There's something here. It looks like it's. I don't, dude. Like it's, like because it could be a pencil. Because some things could be modified. Like I know that some things could be modified because it initially looked like a pencil, but as I said that, it transformed into like a fine tip sharpie. Let me show it to you. Let me, let me show it to you. Okay. So we have that right there, okay? I'm told to keep it separate instead of like scooting it together. Um, that's just, this is how it's supposed to be. Because I could have put G right here, L, like OG, like to be very, um, not just particular, but firm in saying goodbye. Um, but it's like it, the L and the Gore would be very separate. And it, it has to read like that. That's what I'm told. So these were the last three letters left. And so that's, I was called to put it like that. So that's like a pencil, but then a Sharpie, actually. It all depends because there's, it's, it's like, I think there's some things that are penciled in and some things that are Sharpied in because there's like, that's invincible ink that is being used. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, this is very secret energy of what's being written down here, like on the earthly plane, um, and so there's something written, I cannot say, in in the divine realms. Yeah, because I had a little tweak, like an another tw tweak, like another tinge of um a um it was just a flicker of um of um a psychic attack again. Um, this is like that's insane. Let me just go ahead and pull one more card just to kind of solidify that spirit. Um, we're going to use the, um, no, we're, we're going to use the, um, Celtic fairy tarot. Okay. Actually switch up mm -hmm. the ancestral path tarot. Okay. Okay. Seven of Swords, or Seven of Wands, muted, okay. So, um, all right. Okay, so, what is it that you mean? Okay, fine. Oh, it's a double card, muted, opening up to the Nine of Cups pronounced. Okay, yeah, that says a lot, and then this came through the Tower. Oh, snap! <laughs> Do you understand this? This is what fell on top of the healing light tarot and the um the Celtic Fay tarot. Um like it was it stood like on top. It was like on top, right? Um it's the tower moment accentuated. This is also a church. Do you see? This is oh, there's blasphemy in the church. Somebody abusing, misusing um Jesus' name for their efforts. Um, they are v not happy. You know what happened? Like, I, I think, oh, uh, gosh, um, to people selling outside of the temple. Oh, God, that, that, that was bad. Yeah, that was blasphemous. That is what that whole story was talking about. Um, it's coming to life here, and it's been like that for a while. Um, they are very displeased, let's say that, uh, of what was going on. And so, hmm. There, there are not just prices to pay, but taxes in, in, in the beyond. So, um, this is a firm executive decision. 
Mm-hmm. So, double energy is being muted. You know, it opened up to the Nine of Cups here, pronounced. You see that there's a round table of festivities. Oh, I forget what that is. It's Sodom and Gomorrah.